Hi, my name is Charles Johnson, and this is my reflection video for the 4.3 final presentation for Digital Sculpting 1. I wanted to share some points pertaining to my experience throughout this month in learning ZBrush and address some questions that are needing to be answered in the as part of this um, assignment. The first one, what was the project's most challenging part and how did I overcome it? The most challenging part of this program was learning ZBrush from scratch. I had zero knowledge or experience with ZBrush at the beginning of this month. And today, the last day of the month, of this month or as the program closes, I have a greater knowledge than I had before. Um, so everything that I learned, every part of it was kind of challenging for me. Um, how did I overcome it? By staying the course, by practicing, by watching the videos, taking notes. And there are still some things that I need to overcome, but the greatest hurdle that I did overcome was my fear of ZBrush as a program compared to Maya and Substance Painter. The fact that I had doomed myself saying that I was not going to make, uh, I was not going to make a very good grade during this session because of my fear of this program. Uh, what was my favorite sculpt to work on and why? My favorite sculpt is the one that's on the screen. It's a self-portrait. I chose this one as my 4.3 final presentation project because I wanted to create something uh, that was sentimental. I could have created any character that was on the page, but I wanted to create a bust of myself. I wanted to explore the new tools that I've learned, the, the, um, the new brushes that was in the light box. Um, to, to basically, just to explore the new things I've learned and to put it into practice on something and that will be with me for years to come. So creating this piece from a, really a, a, a drawing, not a drawing, but a photograph of myself, a frontal. It took some time, uh, but because I, I am in the flesh, I can look at those other features of myself that a photograph cannot show, such as the back of my head, um, the, the curvature of how my head is shaped, for example. So I wanted to create this piece. And so I would have to say that this is one of my favorite pieces. The second one would be the Sailor Man. Um, how do I see myself using my new set of skills in classes that I have to follow? Well, if we are um, doing another class with ZBrush, I can see myself being able to step into that class with a little bit more confidence than I did when I first entered this one. Uh, even though there is uh, much more for me to learn, I feel like I can um, step in there with confidence and continue to make progress. Uh, and that applies to any of the other classes. I think all the classes that I've had thus far have been, to me, has been challenging because I'm learning all of this stuff new. Um, yes, I have some background in art, but now my background in art is more of a traditional artist using pen and ink, pencil, your, your typical mediums that artists tend to use. 
and to be able to create art in a digital platform allows you to take your skill level to a whole different level.